Um, today was such a special day that, uh, aside from Hillary's name uh, being entered into nomination or uh, uh, us finding out about that, that uh, another quick bit of news that I, I just wanted to do another quick video for was, um, you know, every day almost it seems like somebody else gets thrown under the Obama bus. And today, where there were three people thrown at the same time, basically, and one of those uh, persons, um, this is actually <laughs> Jesse Jackson, and I think he's the first person to be thrown under the same bus twice, so I think that's a record, and by the time this is over with, you know, one person may be thrown as many as five times under it, you know, we need to keep track so we can hand out the proper awards uh, when this thing is over. Um, but today, Jesse was, as well as Charlie Rangel and uh, that May Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick. Um, now, of course, we know why Jesse was, because of his, uh, you know, nuts and honey comment. Um, Apparently, Charlie Rangel uh, committed the ultimate sin and actually uh, <laughs> stood by his friends. Uh, but these friends were Bill and Hillary Clinton, so, you know. Um, he was, they're both being cut out of the convention. Uh, they're both prominent uh, African Americans within the community and uh, just, you know, very high profile people. Um, but one would think, oh, the first so-called black candidate of a major party uh, would want two such people to speak, but no, no, can't have that. Um, that Kwame Kilpatrick uh, was uh, disinvited because of his <coughs> problems. Uh, you know, he is on trial for, I guess, any number of uh, crimes he's committed. And I guess recently he broke violations, so he was sent back to jail for that while waiting for his trial. Um, he tried to finagle a deal whereby he could be uh, let loose for a day, you know, much like Cinderella wants to go to the ball. He uh, had a mission because, well, he is a super delegate and he's going to go there and cast his vote for the Messiah. Uh, the first judge he had his hearing in front of said, okay, you know, like the good fairy godmother, you, you can go to the ball. Uh, but that was quickly snuffed out by the second uh, court judge who said, uh-uh, no. That for once, uh, an elected official who commits a crime is going to have to be treated like an average American citizen. Um, so that that offer to let him go was uh, revoked. I I guess apparently at some point that it was given back, or, or, or I'm not sure, but I did read that even if a judge had granted him permission, that uh, the prince, uh, the messiah, told him, don't bother, you know, keep your sorry ass in jail, or wherever he is, under house arrest, that he can't come his party, the Messiah's party, because he would be a distraction. Um, <laughs> so once again, uh, Obama, or the Messiah, or Barry, as a lot of people have taken to calling him, has made the ultimate sacrifice for his friends and thrown him under the bus. However, one person who uh, ha has been given a prominent uh, position at the party is the good uh, rep, uh, Representative James Clyburn of South Carolina, you know, and he played his part uh, to the T with helping to smear uh, Bill and Hillary as racist and helping to divide, uh, you know, black and white. And, you know, for, for his good and loyal services, he's supposed to be allowed to speak at the convention. Um... I don't know if there is an effort to unseat him, but if there is not, I would, I would very much like to suggest one be started. I would take it upon myself. If I knew how to do it, uh, but this guy definitely is one of those ones that, that's got to go. I mean, 
I mean, he has been one of the worst. Uh, there was once upon a time, since we're in the fairy tale mode, uh, that he was considered to be a friend by the Clintons, uh, but he saw a chance to advance his sorry butt self, and so, you know, threw them and their friendship under the bus, and, you know, eventually, eventually, he was going to become a liability in some fashion, you know, because eventually everybody will be, and he would have been thrown under, but let's not even give him that, that opportunity, you know, let's throw him out of office before Obama can throw him under the bus, that's my suggestion, recommendation, and, um, you know, I want to see that happen.